Viewer discretion is advised by some dweebs, but not us. Hello fellow champions, this is Catching Fire Through with some more Kokoro no Doki Doki Senpai. Um, this game is really weird. I, the first one, it wasn't as weird, but it, it's getting weirder, of course. Well, two months have passed and it has become summer break. I really like summertime. I get to take a break from my rigorous studies and relax. Oh, I forgot to mention that I passed my state aptitude test for the mentally, depri mentally deprived. And I have been deemed okay guy, so I don't need a student aid buddy anymore. Oh, that's sad. It made me sad when I found out this news because I thought I, I would no longer see my star cross lover ex-student aid buddy Moku-chan again. But it's okay because Emo-kun is my roommate and I still get to see Moku-chan on a regular basis. Things are a little awkward between me and Emo-kun though since he seems to want me in a sexual way and everything. Oh. But we're all friends now. This is really great because I also live at Sakura Blossom Academy. If I didn't have any friends at school, then I would be really in the dumps. I have really great friends in Emo-kun, Moku-chan, and Largo-senpai. Isn't that one of the things you're supposed to look out for? We are all the best of friends- best- we- whoa! We are all the best friends forever. It's the- it's funny how such bitter enemies like me and Emo-kun can grow to be such cool bros. We're all such good friends, in fact, that we are going to the annual Sakura Blossom Cherry Blossom Festival together. It's going to be a great time. I think I remember this, actually. I picked out a special kimono just for the occasion. Oh, I can't wait to see Moku-chan in her, in her pretty kimono. She will look like a beautiful angel of heaven or one of my pay-cop pay idols. No, K-pop idols. I've been looking forward to this festival the entire school year. I know I haven't really mentioned it much, but right from the start I was excited for this festival. Since Moku-chan and I are friends right now, I figured this romantic festival would be the perfect time for me to confess my love for her and finally win her heart. I realized that her pantsu was not enough. Even acquiring her VJJ would be, a, be an empty victory if I did not capture her heart. I must win moku Chen's love no matter what. This is my new goal. I call it moku yobi Naughty Pantsu Acquisition Program 2. This time it's personal. With such an awesome name, there's no way I can fail. I start putting on my kimono after, after I make sure Emo-kun isn't watching. He's always trying to get a peek at my junk. But I know he would never act on it or anything, so it's cool and we're still friends. I'm not gay. Sakura Blossom Cherry Blossom Festival. I arrive at the festival and immediately find Moku-chan. It wasn't hard because I can always just follow my heart to lead me to my true love. That is creepy. Or the stars, because they seem to be on my side lately. They are friendly conspirators. Ohio! Moku-chan's Desu levels are approaching critical mass and are attempting to destroy my soul. I don't know, maybe your soul is just fragile. She bounces a little bit and wiggles her bottom as she squeals in a high-pitched tone that only small girls can reach. I guess that's what they call it, puberty. <laughs> Stop saying that! What? <laughs> Stop that! Hi Moku-chan, lovely day for a festival. Yes it is, I'm so excited, I've been waiting all school year for this festival. Me too! It, you look quite lovely in your kimono by the way. Thanks player -kun. I look... Banging Desu. So what do you want to do? We have a full day ahead of us. I'm thinking we can start by meeting up with Emo Kun and Largo Senpai. They're around here somewhere. Drat them. Double drat them. They will escort my dear Moku Chen. How I love her. I can't let Emo Kun and Largo Senpai foil my plans to court Moku Chen. I know that if we spend the day together in a group, it'll probably be very lovely. But any chance that Moku-chan's heart will fade into another dimension. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. We don't want to be douchebags and leave people hanging around with their dicks waving in the air. Let's get a move on. Vamanos, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. Isn't that a, what Dora says? Va 
Come on, Vamanos. Come on, everybody. Let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. You know, you know. My dick retreats into my torso as I find this little phrase to be extremely obnoxious. But no matter, even words cannot stop my love quest for Mokuchan's heart. I follow Mokuchan through the credit streets. We pass by Sala Sala. Kimchi and sushi and curry bread and corn dogs. What is, cur what is curry bread? I want to know what curry bread is. Curry bread. Oh, it's just fried dough with curry inside it. Got it. I follow Moku Chan through the crowded streets. We pass by stalls selling kimchi and sushi and curry bread. And oh, I already read that. Whoops. I'm kind of in the mood for a corn dog right now, actually. We walk together for a while until we find a friend group because I don't want to be considered a douchebag. Oh, there's a Largo guy. <laughs> Largo. Hey guys, it's so nice to see you. Hey little sis. Also, hey dweeb. Hi dude, Largo Senpai. Largo Senpai just does his usual thing where he stands there looking into the abyssal void of space, no doubt contemplating the downfall of the human race. Emo King does his usual thing looking lonely and sad. I don't know why I hang out with these kids. So what do you guys want, want to do today? I, I don't care, even though I have been looking forward to this festival the entire school year, my role as lead vocalist of tears of unenthusiasm deems that I always be unenthusiastic. I, I can't betray my bandmates' trust. Do you even play? I've never heard you play anything or even sing, and I, I also don't know you had friends. Didn't know, sorry. Shut up. Darko Senpai stands there, as per usual, his stare penetrates my soul. Well, it seems like you guys have no idea what you want to do, so Player-kun, how about you decide? Hmm, get a corn dog, go play that game. Okay, whip out your manhood. Oh, wait, I can't save it. Okay, whoops. I whip out my cuck that so everyone can marvel at its grandeur. I'm sure everyone will be impressed. They're not. Alright, let's take a moment here and reflect that this is no longer Player Coon's interior monologue. This is the third person narrator speaking. What the fuck did you think you could possibly accomplish by pulling out your dick in this situation? I mean, Christ, you must be really awkward if you think that whipping out your cock is an appropriate thing to do anywhere at any time. I mean, seriously, you are an ignorant motherfucker. I bet you thought that was funny, right? Yeah, it was funny. Oh yeah, ha ha ha, very funny. You made Player Coon whip out his penis. Do you have any idea how awkward you made Player Coon feel? Right now he's getting stoned to death by a mob that gathered around him after seeing the horror that is his genitalia. This is your fault. Player Coon's death is on your conscience now. That de how does that make you feel? I bet you're just laughing right now, you freaking sociopath. Death is funny to you, huh? Well, remind me never not to invite ever invite you to one of my parties. You may be thinking to yourself, yeah, but none of the other choices mattered before, so why does it now? You don't question my art. Just like I don't run into your house when you're taking a dump and critique you on your finesse and shitting technique. If you want to play this over again and try to get a better ending again, I will allow you one more chance. I hope you saved it. Or I could just press back, you know. Okay. Okay, so not whip out your manhood. Get a corn dog with mo. I guess I'll get a corn dog. Hey, Moku-chan, let's get a corn dog together because that's what best friends do. Get corn dogs together. Wouldn't that be a mean thing to have been at all of our friends? No, it's okay. N no, it's okay. I don't really care. I don't have any depth of character aside from being an emo cock slap. Oh, okay. Yes, Emo Kun is being a nice guy after all. I knew there would be a day when he would be cool. This is going to be such a quiet time. Plus, I will get to watch Mogu Chen eat that phallic shaped corn dog ever so seductively. I will use my imagination to protect my own pe. What the fuck? Actually, wait, never mind. That would be kind of terrible. She's going to be taking bites out of the corn dog. That would hurt like fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm really terrible at metaphors. If that's a metaphor, I don't know. I'm no good anymore. I'm terrible. Mm, these corn dogs are so segoy. You got something on your face there. Whatever your name is. I forgot her name. That That's bad. 
That's pretty awesome that she's enjoying the corn dog I bought for her. I was worried she was allergic to corn, or possibly dog. Mogu chan. I I kept thinking it was Mogu chan. Yeah, Mogu chan. You have uh, stuff on your face. You know, Mogu chan. I am really enjoying this time that I am sharing with you now here together. That we are. D Wait, hold on. I'm sharing. Okay, I'm really enjoying this time that I am sharing with you now here together that we are doing. What the fuck? That is very nice of you to think that, player, and I do not abhor your presence either. Right now, I am feeling a little bad though while I am here at this festival at Lord Shokushu Gukan. Is using his army of Nega Demons to reap souls as we speak. I'm a bad magical girl. Oh god. No, don't say that. I'm sure you are a perfectly adequate magical girl. You really think so? Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure everything will be fine. You need to do something to get your mind off it. I suppose so. I am, but I am incapable of making my own decisions because I am a dead and some visual novel character. What do you want to do, player? Okay. Okay, I have to do this. Oh, I see player coon. Oh, what the hell are you doing? It appears as though I am squirting mustard all over your body. I realize that, you fuckface. Stop. I can't. There's some sort of paranormal f Paranormal? Yeah. That doesn't sound right. Paranormal force that is compelling me to do this to you. It's as if I have no choice of free will. It's like some unseen hand is directing my every movement and for some reason wants me to make a fool of myself. You're crazy and also a stupid asshole. I don't want to hang out with you anymore and I don't even want you getting anywhere near my pants. I'm going to get a restraining order and you, st you stupid idiot Baka Gaijin. No, it has come to this. Momoku Chen is going to hate me forever because I just had to go and make a fool of myself. Suddenly I have caught on fire. <laughs> what the hell? You're on fire. What the heck? This is doesn't even make any sense. I proceeded to wet myself and defecate out of, ha out of habit. I begin burning in a fiery inferno. My body has become a blazing pillar of death and the sight of my charred frame brings horror to all those around me. Why is she laughing though? My body smells like bacon. I consider eating one of my fingers to see if it tastes like bacon before I die. But I die before I can do that. I am dead now. No, I couldn't press back. Okay, hold on. This is the earliest save. I guess I'll save but Okay, I'm back here. Good. So now we have to get a, a corn dog. Then I'll, I guess I'll save here. Yes, okay. Return. There we go, go do karaoke with Moku-chan. Would you like to go sing some karaoke with me, Moku-chan? It'll be a pretty desert time. Sure, it sounds more fun than being at the center of a bukkake party. Jesus Christ, that doesn't sound very fun to me, Moku-chan. Well, that's because you're probably a heterosexual cis male player coon. If you wanted dozens of strange men to ejaculate on your face and chest, you would be a gay man like my brother. Well, wait, your brother is gay? You should know this, yeah, couldn't you tell? I mean, he was sending out some signals, but I wasn't sure if he was gay or just European like Largo Senpai. That's... Whoa. No pieces of gay. Oh, okay. So you want to do that karaoke now or something? Yeah, I love singing. I'm a professional. Really? No. Oh, okay. Dance on the floor, clap and eat a handbag. Yours, only yours. I want a stable dance style. It's no lie. Moku-chan, you know those aren't the real lyrics to Caramel Dancing. The song is in Swedish, and why are you singing in English anyway? Aren't we supposed to be speaking in Japanese? But we've been speaking English this entire time. What visual novel have you been reading? But I thought that was just because it was assumed that what everyone has been saying is like automatically translated or something so that it's easily accessible for our English speaking audience. No. Oh, okay. So we continue doing karaoke stuff for a while. It is okay, I guess. I mean, all I can really think about is sticking it in her pooter. Wait, her butt? Okay. 
I have a mild direction the entire time and this affects my singing quality. I find it incredibly hard to sing in falsetto because I am just feeling so goddamn manly. I never really played the karaoke game before. I'm not really good at it. Very good at it, it seems. I don't remember the words and everyone is laughing at me. Well, you can't... Oh my god. Moku-chan seems to find it cute though. Score! Her sopping wet grayscale pussy will be mine. Oh Jesus Christ, I laughed maniacally a bit to myself. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing, just thinking about how pleasurable it will be to finally deflower your rose. Oh, player queen, you're so romantic. Moku-chan, that is not romantic. In, in the slightest. Moku-chan giggled and swayed to and fro, her adorable little twin tails nearly slapping me in the face. In my face. You're very poetic too, you have such a way with words. Well, I mean, I am the man. Maybe you will get a chance to prove that yourself later, wink wink. What did Moku-chan mean by that? Does that mean she does really want a hot dicking? I mean, she did mention before that my ding dangly thing was, uh, was quite possibly an above average size. This is a great successful victory. Everything is going according to plan. This night is going to be perfect. Since arriving- hold on, I want a quick save just in case. Since arriving at Sakura Blossom Academy, I was worried that I couldn't find- no, wouldn't find friends, let alone find love. I found both and life seems to be going just peachy perfect. At oh. At this rate, I will soon begin phase 3 and achieve ultimate happiness levels. I look over at Moku-chan who has begun singing another song. She's taking everyone's turn at the karaoke bar because she has a strong personality. It's really cute and I am about to oogu if she keeps up. If this keeps up, I think. I don't remember. Hold on, let me go back real quick. If, th if these keeps up? Wait, what? She looks so pretty and perfect in her holiday kimono. Whenever I see her in that kitch uh, kitchen, kicking rad kimono, I nearly cream my jeans. Metaphorically, of course, I may not have very good control over my bowels thanks to my capping crunch abuse, but I am no premature ejaculator. Moguchen hands the microphone to me. Our hands briefly brush against each other, and we both feel embarrassed. I notice my own face getting warm as Moguchen tries to conceal her blushing cheeks. Those don't look very concealed to me. Hey, player coon, let's go look at the cherry blossoms. That is the point of the festival, after all. Right. I nod my head. We start heading over to the lakeside, which is where the cherry blossoms fall from the trees. It is a beautiful night. The sky is dark and amber starlight dots the sky. Crickets chirp quietly all around us as we hear the distant sounds of the festival. Music, chatter, and laughter. We both look back and see children playing in the grass. We both smirk at the quaint scene before us. We stand amongst the cherry blossoms that fall gently to the ground all around us. Moonlight shimmering off the lake. Around us couples to hold hands and some lean against the trees and express their love for each other via physical affection. I realize that this could be considered our first actual date. I make a paper boat out of dirty napkin and turn to Moku-chan. Do you want to set this out on the water? Sure, that sounds like it would be lovely. We both lean over and Moku-chan grabs the paper boat with me. We both let go of the boat simultaneously and watch as it floats across the water. Its gentle drifting lulls both of us into a serene sense of happiness. I I'm waiting for Largo Senpai to come in and try to kick our ass or something. We are slightly startled by the fireworks that begin going off in the distance. The festival is coming to a close. I don't want this perfect day to ever end. I gently place my hand on Moku-chan's. I can't decide which is a more beautiful sight, the fireworks in the complex sky or the perfect contours of Moku-chan's face. It feels as if, you know what, I want to know who did this art because it doesn't look good but it looks good at the same time. Like it's, it looks like amateur work but really, like somebody who's been practicing but isn't really good at art, just like. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's it's good art. Let's just say it's good art. It feels as if the stars themselves are smiling at me. This is probably the happiest moment in my young life. Coming to Sakura Blossom Academy was a blessing in disguise. 
I look deep into Moku Chen's eyes, the dripping pools of warmth that sit before me reflect my own face, my own life, my own dreams, and my own hope. Player Kunai, okay, the art style's changed, now she has a bottom lip. Oh god. Our faces are inches apart, I see Moku Chen close her eyes and bring her lips closer to mine. Hold up, whoa! I pull away. Holy fuck, I just realized something. I'm gay! Yes, everything makes sense now. I don't really love Moku Chan. I love her brother, Emo Kun. Man, he's such a fucking stud muffin. I want on that milkshake's man meat. I have finally realized my true calling in life. I will marry Emo Kun if it's the last thing I do. I knew, I knew that was gonna. Oh, wait, there's Vegeta. And so I did. It was a beautiful ceremony and we lived happily ever after in marital bliss. Oh, I get the happy end. Cool. What's going on? Oh, there you go. Well, if you like this video, leave a like. Whoa, hold your horses there, buddy. I th you may have thought that I was ending the video, which I was, but I realized that the finale video that would have gone on after this is a little too short for an actual video. So, yeah, stay tuned uh, right now. I just wanted to go back a lot just so I could go back to this and go play the game where you throw baseballs at bottles with everyone. Hey guys, do you want to go play that game where you throw baseballs at bottles and try to knock them down? I don't know what it's called, but they always have that in stereotypical film scenes set at carnivals and festivals and stuff. Uh, okay, I guess. That actually sounds like a swell time. Lead the way, player coon. I escort my friends across the festival to the game zone. Well, here we are. You go first, Sergio Senpai. You must be big and strong with all that muscle of yours. And I bet your thick flowing locks of blonde hair help you in some roundabout way as well. Okay, so they're definitely being mind controlled because there's no way that that red is supposed to be blonde. What? He doesn't have thick locks of blonde hair. I am confusion. I fucking knew it. Largo Senpai levitated the baseballs with his mind and then shot them at the bottles, completely shattering them. Wow, Largo Senpai, that's really hard of you to destroy those bottles as something a real man would do. Hmm. <laughs> What's so great about Largo Senpai, huh? I mean, he's a nice guy and all, but he seems to have this unnatural charm with the ladies. It's as if he uses some sort of demonic telepathic power to control how they view him. Now that's crazy talk. I'm talking like some sort of insane person that doesn't follow any sort of logical logic. Yeah, well, now that Largo Senpai has broken the game, there's nothing for us to do. Damn it, Largo. Oh no, that is a problem of sorts. We must remedy that situation post-haste. Moki Chen is talking like a fucking weirdo, but I agree with her. Why don't you choose what we do next, Blake? And it does seem as though you are the decision man. Hmm. I have. I I'll just straighten things out with Emo Kun. Hey, Emo Kun. Yeah, Dweebler, what do you want? I just wanted to talk to you a bit alone, is all. Would you guys mind? No, not at all. That's fine. This means me and Largo Senpai will finally get to spend some quality time together. Hmm, I don't like the sound of that one bit. But my decision is already made and there's absolutely nothing I can do at this point to stop the upcoming turn of events. So what do you want to talk about, dude? I mean, you could have used any of the times we saw each other back at the dorm room to talk about whatever is bothering you. Why did you choose right now to talk about this? Uh, I don't know, but I want to do this now. Your sister just told me today that you are homosexual. I didn't know this before. I mean, I'm cool with it, but I have the strange feeling that you have feels for me or something. Oh, well, yeah, I kind of do, but it's cool, man. I only treat you as a sexual object. I don't have any legitimate feelings for you, nor do I respect you really. You're a good roommate, though. Yeah, man, you too. This bro bonding moment feels more homoerotic than I had previously anticipated. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm just saying. Now that we're alone, though, I have something to confess to you. Is it your love for me? If that's the case, then I take back what I said before. I really do love you, Player Queen. You are my shining star, and my own personal Freddie Mercury. Um, no, dude, actually, I was going to say that I love your sister. Well, then I take back what I said again, and you're still just a sexual object. Also, that's neat that you like my sister. Really? You don't want to kick my ass? No, it's whatever. I don't really care. Besides, if I feel I ha it, I feel if I even attempted to lift my leg up to kick you, I would just rip my jeans. 
Oh, I didn't. Oh, no, he's in the kimono right now. Okay, got it. They're so tight, man. They cut off my circulation sometimes. I can't even take them off when I go to sleep, so I'm always stuck with these tight ass jeans on. My legs fall asleep all the time. It's super annoying. But that's the price you have to pay for being as XX hard X core XX as me. Jesus Christ. Okay, thanks. I'm going to go back to the other people now. Oh, oh no. This cannot be. Largo Senpai has stolen my betrothed. This is a sad day in the world of Player Coon. My best friend and also future girlfriend has been kidnapped and stolen by that big headed European. I don't want this to be the way this ends. I hate this. How would you how could you do this to me, Moku Chan? You are truly in love with that creature? That's kinda racist. I stifle back vomit at the thought of them engaging in coitus. Don't think about that then. This is terrible. I don't see how this day could have possibly worked out any worse than other than me dying in some freak accident for doing something incredibly stupid. The shore is the pits. But in a way, this scene is very nice and romantic. If only I was the one standing there instead of Largo Senpai. I guess it's because I'm a fucking asshole and I suck. And go watch the fireworks together as a group. How about we go watch the fireworks? That seems like a perfectly normal and logical thing for a group of friends to do at a cherry blossom festival. Yeah, it does. Let's do this. It sounds like it will be a swell time. We go and watch the fireworks. It is lovely. My, these fireworks sure are lovely. That's what I just said, but I guess since I had that in my head, she couldn't hear me. But this festival has turned out to be a perfectly average evening of young friends hanging out. I dread going back to school because it really sucks, but it's what I have to do. This evening seems this evening seems very average. This is congruent to my ideal ideals. I still think that guy is a cockslap. Well, anyway, this is the festival. We pretty much just watch the fireworks for a while. It is nice and pleasant in the evening. That's about it. That show's over. We're done here. You can play the game over again if you like. There's more interesting endings than this one. I died in two of them. Don't pick those or you're an asset. I already picked both of those, I think. Thanks for playing, though. You seem to be a very logical and decent human being to make the choices you have made. What's a fourth wall? Bye, guys. See you next semester. I'll still be here. Neutral end. Nice. Actually, I, I, still have, I still have a lot of time left, so I'll just try to get the... And that's when I realized, going through it all over again, that there was no other endings than the ones that I just did. So that's the end of the video. If you liked that video, leave a like, comment down below what you want me to do next, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor.